Hello and welcome back, this is Tim Boy and time for another LLAS card breakdown. This month's party scouting features captivating nighttime garden caddy. Her as our partner this time is Loveless World Kotori. The scouting banner will be available until November 29 afternoon. Basic info, my thoughts on the cards, and then the verdict. The featured party card for this banner is Captivating Nighttime Garden Cadet. As natural SP card, her base stats will start off at 10,549 appeal, 4,114 stamina, and 11,057 technique with 48.17% critical rate. Her 5th limit stats will end up at 14,218 appeal, 5,548 stamina, and 14,912 technique with 59.73% critical rate. Cadet's skill is SP fill. Filling SP gauge by 79% at 33% chance. Her passive ability is Appeal++ plus plus and Technique++. Plus plus. Increasing base appeal by 4.7 to 6.5% and base technique by 1.4 to 3.2% affecting natural cards. Her active ability is Skill Activation Rate Buffer. Increasing skill activation rate by 15% for 5 notes affecting her strategy on SP Burst. This Karen UR is a close upgrade to other SP fillers before her. Stats why she is easily replaceable for other natural SP fillers but not necessarily for standalone. Combination is better than standalone. After this UR, players might have the perfect natural SP filler trifecta that consists of Festival 2 Daya, Festival 3 Nico, and this Skaden card herself that has a skill rate buffer show ability akin to those from Tropical Squash Kotori and Passion Stage Maori. I don't need to give a detailed explanation on why this Cadden card is another powerful SP filler, but in simple description, you can spam SP burst fast and break through both voltage ranking that some voltage gainers cannot reach normally. If you are getting this party war, I recommend using her in SPL. Using her in regular, expert, and challenge songs will be more than useful if you have maxed out natural SP fillers like those cards I said before as example. Her party costume comes in two colors, indigo and blue. This is what she looks like in costume preview. Now, this cotton costume is actually beautiful at nighttime. Um, she she is wearing two bottoms. One is a one is half cut skirt. The other is covered by a wire frame. Uh, this one is beautifully designed, uh, even though the even though there aren't that much uh, sparkly materials. Uh, the original design has uh, indigo flowers in it. In her redesign, in her recolor. Uh, she picked the blue bar blue version, so expect more of those fl flowers to be more blue, as well as her jacket to have uh, more blue hue. Uh, she also wears the um, pale blue hair strands like this one, and another one is a small flower choker on her neck. And lastly, the headdress, beautiful enough. Um, flowers. This also has a gold frame butterfly. This is actually the first costume, well, at least. Uh, if I recall, this is the first costume that Karen is wearing that has an ahoge or an idiot hair strand. You can usually see this, uh, like for example, I think Chika Takami, who also has the idiot hair strand or aho ahoge. So, yeah, um, beautiful nighttime fairy. She can be a gardener as well. Mew's next SR set is Loveless World. Kotori is starting this SR set. As elegant skill card, her base stats will start off at 4,805 appeal, 2,902 stamina, and 4,932 technique with 29.79% critical rate. Her fifth limit stats will end up at 8,177 appeal, 4,948 stamina, and 8,391 technique with 40.17% critical rate. Kotori's skill is critical rate buffer, increasing critical rate by 5 to 7% for 10 notes, affecting her strategy. Her passive ability is Technique Plus, affecting all cards by increasing base technique by 1 to 2.2%. Her active ability is Critical Power Buffer, increasing voltage gain from critical notes by 3%, affecting all cards on live show start at 30% chance. Kotori is taking more interval losses on her stamina stat in exchange for higher appeal stat while not overtaking the technique stat. She is a two-faced SR card that she can buff critical rate for her strategy and long range thus only giving lower rates. Otherwise she grants more power for all cards in the team, a hybrid skill type score at best but a passive of low benefits. The verdict this time is Party Cadet is a powerful SP filler that can buff the skill rate for her strategy when her team uses SP Burst. 
Should you pull for her, if you have other natural SP fillers, I could recommend Party Cadden, but a few players have already tried their chance in the 3rd Anniversary Reroll banner a few months ago in September, and got either Party Kotori or Party Mari. Nonetheless, the more the merrier, the more broken the next SPL will be. Loveless World Kotori has an above average stat distribution for her strategy and all cards, and she can be a good costume collection to start off Loveless World. That's all for this video. Thank you everyone for watching. Leave a like, comment, and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I also stream games 3-4 to four times a week on YouTube at 21PHT. Links to my socials are in the video description below, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. See you soon.